impression you can see London at a far distance like little bricks in the, on the edge of the uh, planet that's London we're looking at it's for the far left where the bushes and trees are landmarks that's shadow that's uh I don't know if I can zoom in and see that there we are and the edge you see the edge they are yeah that's London you're looking at far far away from here this is this city in the distance here's all the factories here and then this path leads up goes into Hainaut got the cafe at the bottom we've got a lake down there which we'll be going in a minute and all this is a forest which is just part of the haunted forest pony up there we did that walk last time yeah the views are just stunning but I'm going to go into the forest and show you a video I've decided to do it in the forest yeah let's go inside the forest for a bit and then go to the lake I thought I'd show you this. These are done by moles, by the way. And rabbits. That's another thing. Ah, I thought I'd show you this, but this is pretty epic. When you walk in. Because the trees are everywhere. It's this magical forest. I like this bit, because it's so open inside. How nice can you get? This is perfect for an Instagram photo, look. Look how nice you can get. <laughs> huh. Beautiful. And this drops, by the way. This uh, forest here is gonna. It drops down and goes back up. You see it anyway. I don't know if you can see it. The way the trees are positioned. Look at that. Look at that. Just look at that. Look at view of the shadow. I need to crouch down so I don't get myself in a camera shot. I do take photos while I'm filming guys <laughs> sometimes I put them as a slideshow on YouTube sometimes I put on Instagram and sometimes I put them on my Facebook page page which is adventures I should put a link in the description for those actually so you know I keep forgetting to do that silly me but yeah it's beautiful here it's just nice to appreciate it you know it's so beautiful. Look at it. There's a little squirrel there. Let's say hello, if you don't scare him off. See if I can zoom into you. you ready, ready? Squirrel, squirrel. Here he is. Let's gently go up to him. Don't, don't scare him off. I'll scare him off. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, you appreciate it because it is nice. I'm just gonna sit here for a minute, chill out for a minute. I'll show you where the lake is. You will see it when I zoom in. There we go. It's just. That reflection just there is just that bit there, water. Did you see it right at the edge of water? It's right there. Oh, it's lovely and cool, it's lovely and fresh in here. I can breathe. It's really weird when you're in um, a clutch stuck indoors or in a city, it's not much air, but here it's like your lungs are open. Wow. What's interesting part, what's been going on this year, not very good. Life always finds a way. Here we are. Maybe a bit of grass. I'll clear, this, I'll clear the area for it, it's got one over there. But yeah, the grass is here. Life has found a way. It's nice to appreciate. So there, there's loads here now, isn't it? You see that? Nice to see a bit of green. Beautiful, isn't it? There's a lot more here. Eh? It's nice. It's appreciated. And then you come up and you get more grass. So I like it, it's just surrounding me. No grass, no grass, little bits of grass. And then, big bit of grass.
Oh, that's a nice bird, whatever that was. I'm not sure what it was, but it was small. I think it was a robin, a wren, a wren. Look at all the geese up there, and the gulls are down there, and the lake is just there. Let's get to the lake. Here we are, coming towards the lake now. Noise of geese. I've got no food. What are you following me for? I didn't bring no bread today. So, no, I didn't bring any bread. I forgot to bring it. Yeah, I forgot to bring it. I didn't mean to, yeah. Next time, yeah? Next time. Yeah, next time. I promise, next time, yeah. I do apologise for that. Yeah. Perhaps someone else will bring it for you. Yeah? Yeah. That does not look safe, by the way. This, this bench thing does not look safe. All the ducks are coming over. I've got no food. Nice lake though, nice views though. I'll catch them going into the water. Yeah, let's watch them going into the water. A bit cold, isn't it? They're going for a swim. They're going for a swim now. Here we have the geese with the ducks with the size of back dolls. There's a herring one right there in the middle. And a coot. A little bit feisty there, a bit naughty. These are the same birds that were at South End. These goals. There comes the swans. There's a young swan, there's a normal swan. You see they're losing their feathers. I'm becoming white. Wow. What a rare sight. Remember in spring there were only little ducklings then? They're growing up really quick. Look at that. How nice can you get? How beautiful can you get a swan like that? Wow. Look at that white swan. So that's quite a rare sight. Why not walk into the forest, eh? Let's do that. Walking into the forest. 
I'm just trying to work our way out now. But I want to walk through the forest. Because why not? It's a bit muddy, I keep sliding everywhere. <laughs> not good. Because if I fall... Oh. I'm trying to take caution steps. Actually, boots would have been a good idea, wouldn't it? But I just... The road's all the way up there. It's going to take me longer to walk it because it's muddy. I can't walk quick. Follow the noise of the traffic. It's just nice to come here actually. Bit of fresh air in your lungs. I like the mysterious paths, you don't know what they lead to. Randy, I don't know where it was. I s There's a bridge. An awesome bridge. Because I found it. Oh, well, me and my friend found it. We found this awesome bridge. But we didn't know where it leads us to. Look at all this water. Interesting tip to tell you, if you guys do Instagram. If you want to take a perfect photo, just want to show you something. Find yourself a puddle, get yourself nice scenery, and do this. You ready for it? You bend down to the puddle. To clear the puddle would be better, by the way. You bend down. Make like a reflection. The closer you are, the better, actually. Has <sighs> that. And what you can do when you do um, Instagram, upload the photo to Instagram, but upload it upside down. So the puddle is facing top of the screen in the picture. Yeah, it adds to an, an illusion, you could say. The bigger the puddle, the better though. Oh, well, this one's a nice long one, see? So I can get a nice I can go right down there and take the picture in the puddle and reverse the picture upside down. <laughs> it's like a mirror effect, but it's really, it's actually a popular trend at the moment, um, taking pictures in puddles. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter where you've got a reflection, where there's water. Take advantage of what's around you. Yeah, a little walk you can do down there. A bit awkward and muddy at the moment. Uh, I was just telling you some tips how to do it. There's another tip you can do when you film taking photos. Um, if you want an awesome picture, perfect frame, find yourself um, two poles, two trees, two columns, two anything. Basically two the same. And you've got a tree here and a tree there. And what you do, you aim the camera so it's situated both. We can narrow it down best crouch down or whatever, whatever position you think is the best, or you can go up above. Get that in-depth look. Yeah, just giving you tips how to take photos and what I learnt. You know, I can put the camera around, I can't, I can't do this. No, but it's a good photo for a puddle. <laughs> let's get that, let's get that angle. Look at that. Well, let's try and get out of this messy situation. 